Really nervous, about to make amends. Step number nine, really hard. Wish me luck. Oh, hey, hey Danny, Todd. come on in. Jesus, man, I haven't seen you in years. Yeah. Hey, hey, Danny. Oh, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, man. Yeah, go ahead, uh, have a seat. Um, just got this stool in the middle of the room. Oh, perfect. You can sit on. Can I sit there? Yeah, man. <laughs> and uh, I got this, like, good pile going on. My man cave. Hey, what's up? Why do you... Sweet. What brings you here? Well, um, I am a recovering addict of Palmini, and yeah. I'm here to make amends to you. Okay. I know we've been friends for very, for many years, and I haven't yeah. been in touch lately. Yeah. For the past few years, we were friends in high school. Yeah. I got to tell you something. Yeah. What happened to that? I got to tell you something that real bad that I did, and I'm here to ask for your forgiveness. You don't have to forgive me, but I still have to ask you. Okay. Because it's just part of my deal. I would love it for you to forgive me, but I'm not expecting it. Yeah. Well, last pen, you, 10 years or so, I've just really just been like a blur. Yeah. Just a blur of sriracha and sour yeah. cream. A blur it's, of it's It's been around town, yeah. I hear the stories. Cilantro, yeah. People waking up in ditches with curry all over their faces, you know. That so. was me. That, that Shit. That's how okay. I reached my rock bottom. I hit a literal yeah. rock bottom in a, yeah. in a gutter underneath like a, a freeway. Like on a bottom of a bunch of rocks that yeah. were on top of you. But anyway, when I was... When I was in the throes of my addiction, I wasn't, I wasn't really me, you know, it, it wasn't who I was. Yeah. It wasn't who I wanted to be. It's not who I want to be anymore. Yeah. But I nevertheless, I have to take responsibility for what I did. About four or five years ago, I don't know if you remember this, but, or the, the outcome of it, but I was really high, I was really stoned on Palmini, I was walking around, around your neighborhood. And uh, I still remembered where you lived from when we hung out yeah, yeah. a long time ago in high school. Yeah. And Palmini I was all... Parties. I Palmini parties. It's <laughs> good times. But I think I went down a slightly darker road and uh, than you did. And uh, I, was, I was doing Palmini all the time. Like, I was never not high on Palmini. And... I had run out of money, I had run out of Palmini, I had run out of resources, and I was just trying to get my next fix, so I decided to go into your house, so I broke into your house, and I found your wallet while you were asleep, yeah. and I stole money out of your wallet. I, I stole oh, like $200, wow, and um, I left, and to my knowledge you never found out, but I was so ashamed that I could never face you afterward. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah, I'm just, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you don't have to forgive me, but I'm just telling you so that I'm 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 I've done my part. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. First of all, you know I appreciate you here coming to me, telling me that I had my suspicions at the time, but um, you know whatever it was, I I knew that someone who I hung out with had come over and screwed me over and people. After they get those meanies, you know, can be a little bit, a uh, little bit off, you know. So I, I thought maybe, uh, you know, in part is my doing, even even with what you've been going through, you know, like I used to host those parties, you know, every everybody was eating those palminis, you know, I I used to make them for everybody. Um, yeah, I, I really want to forgive you, man, but there's there's just a few things on my mind, you know. One, it's been years, you know, and you come here and you say. You know, here's my story. Will you forgive me? There's no, how are you doing? How's your life been? You know, there, there's no exchange. So at this point, you know, I'm wondering if we're even friends making amends or just two people who've had problems talking about our problems. The other thing is, um, you know, there's the money thing. But then I remember around that same weekend, I had some... Uh, had some cumin in the fridge, some cilantro, and then, um, you know, a few bottles of it, and that just went missing. Sriracha, and, uh, you know, my friends would just expect me to make this stuff. No one else knew how to make it. The only one I ever told the recipe was you. You know, my special cumin. And so, you know, the money, but then what were you doing? So what were you doing with that? Are you going off making your own palmies, having your own little 
Palmini parties without me, you know, be, being the big guy, the, the party guy. Um, yeah, shit, man, I have to think about it. Yeah, we'll keep in touch, you know. But, but thanks for coming by, and, uh, I hope you have a good recovery. There's, there's some things that, you know, maybe I need to make amends with, too. And once I get it all in my head, then, uh, we'll do this again as friends. But, um, keep in touch. We'll go out, go out to breakfast or something. It's, all right. It's, it's not over. Okay, it's not over. That's, that's good enough. That, that means it went well, to okay. my mind. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, take it easy. Take care. All right, yeah, it's me. Yeah, there's going to be a car that's taken off. Uh, just wait until they leave. And then um, just bring it to the back door. Yeah, all I need is one bowl. All right. All right, cool. Thanks, man.